Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another 5-Minute Friday. It is hot. It is really hot. It's uh, summer. Yeah, here's Spiny coming along with our our titles. Yep, I'm Maggie. I guess I should say that. <laughs> She's Maggie. I must be Dan. <laughs> so, we got that covered. <laughs> um, as we always do, let's uh, let's take a look at our live streaming setup today. We're going to YouTube, 1080p, 29 frames per second, 6 yep. megabits per second. We're also on YouTube, uh, Facebook. Absolutely. We're using vMix Pro version 22. Um, our awesome computer and the Philium custom PC using some PT, uh, PTZ optics cameras. Say that fast three times. Yeah. <laughs> Audio Technica mic, Behringer mixer, x mouse mat. And vMix Social we're using on the Kindle Fire. Bear with me. I'll be driving. <laughs> <laughs> So then send us some comments. We're, we Absolutely. should be picking them up from Facebook and uh, and YouTube today, which is fun. And uh, of course. we are, of course, using this awesome X-Keys XKE124 T-Bar unit She's... with the optional video switcher kit. She's so pretty. So right. I think I'll just leave her down here for a little while. There you go. I like it. Uh, what are we talking about today? Something really exciting that I'm so glad we finally get to talk about. I knew there was a rumor, but I didn't know if we were really allowed to talk about it. But I think uh, I think we are ready to announce. Yeah, they the released B-Mix templates it. on the BMix Fun Time Live show this week. Um, they announced the release of a uh, new version, which is version 22.0.0.66. <laughs> and yes. uh, one of the cool things in in this new release uh, is uh, templates for X keys. And uh, I put together a couple little videos showing you how, once you have your X keys plugged in, how easy it is to um, to set up the, the template. So let's watch that. Isn't that fun? That is neat. It's in so easy. Under 50 seconds. Yes. Uh, and you're probably all out there dancing to the, the schmippy music that I found to go along with that. <laughs> and uh, so that's the, the template for the video switcher kit. There's also a template for our new replay unit, which isn't out yet. It's so close, guys. I know we keep saying that, but I promise you it really is. I've seen I've seen some of them in my hands. I've held them. <laughs> They're real. So when you do get the replay unit and want to use the template, this is how you set that up. That's so cool. And if you were sharp, you noticed there were very little differences between those two procedures. Right. But the main thing, the takeaway from that is that our template is set up to use the video switcher kit on channel one and the replay unit on channel two. Oh. So that's how um, Martin and BMix, that's how they distinguish when we have multiple X keys plugged into the same system. Oh. You assign them to a MIDI channel number and that's how you tell them apart. That is a very common question. Yeah, it's great to know. Yeah. Oh, they do such a good job with integration. We we just love those guys. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so next, Maggie, I thought we would take a quick look at um, how that switcher template is set up. Well, again, you know, it's the same one that I'm using here today. 
So if we look in this upper right corner, these M keys, they're meant for macros. Um, we don't know what you're going to do with them, but we wanted to assign them to something. So what they do uh, out of the box with this template is they turn audio on and off for your first aid inputs. But we fully expect you to go in and reassign those to do something else. Uh, these are uh, the PTZ keys up here. If you have a PTZ camera plugged in and it's connected using the PTZ functions in vMix, we can send commands to it. And you can assign these by default. They're sent to the preview. So if your camera is in preview, that's when you can control it. Um, if it's, it's probably more recommended if you have one camera to just assign it to the input for that camera. It's a better connection than whether or not the thing's in preview. Um, and these are set up to be PTZ presets, which if you've used PTZ and vMix before, you know that that is done by creating an input at those PTZ coordinates. And so you would assign those to these keys. Um, you know, you got we got your uh, record and, and stream buttons up here. And I forgot to start recording the show, so I just did that right now. <laughs> uh, activators are blinking to show me that they are or aren't. Uh, this is the fade to black key, which I'm not going to hit because it would fade everything to black and mute everything. These guys down here, this, these are the previews for all the inputs that I'm using in the show. This is the program bank, so if I just punch one of these up, which just for fun, I'll do that. Here we are back again. I'll punch that one, and we want it to go back to this one. So everything, I, I could just punch it there, um, and it'll take to it. These are overlays. So my T-bar overlay is right here. Our social overlay is here. And there's Spiny again with a rocket sled and our titles. All that stuff controlled by this bank up here. The blue bank below it, um, I have set up for um, title preview. So it'll put those same titles in the preview window not in not a program. Over here, we got auto one, auto two, auto three. Those are going to do transitions that are selected in vMix in the first three uh, pull downs in the vMix interface. And the take will just take to whatever I've got. It's preview. just so cool. So Great it's a work. Dan. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks. It's um, I think it, it makes a good little basic 12 channel you know, 12 input switcher. Mm -hmm. um, and there's just a lot of versatility in it. You know, this, especially like this blue bank, I don't, I don't really use this much. You could assign anything to this, right. you know. And in our setup, um, what we have for our macros, this one is a microphone. So, and now we're back, right? Um, if we have a caller in, this is their audio for the from Phoenix call. This is our show music. Uh, and down here, we use these for um, advancing slides. So if we're doing like an image gallery, ah. and going through slides, we punch this during the show to do that. So now we have some other news. Well, oh, I'm sorry. I had... Um, oh, yeah. Good talk. Before we get to that, I'll show you this. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That is the, <laughs> the template layout for the replay unit, for the new replay unit that's not quite out yet. Yep, and you'll be able to purchase this kit just like you do the video switcher key set. So, and yeah. you also, I think we are going to have one pre-assembled maybe. Yes, so we, we have, have both options. two versions. The one version is fully laid out with these keys. You just plug it in and use it. And the other one is blank keys. You can configure however you want, right. uh, or you can buy the kit and put these keys in different places. So many options. Want. So many options, yeah. Now, interesting, once we put this out, um, I had somebody come in on Facebook and say, well, that's cool, but I don't have the replay unit. I've got your 68 jog and shuttle unit. Can I have a template for that? So I didn't want to say no. Ask so I shall receive. <laughs> went through and I, you can see there, I just kind of moved um, TJ's keys for in and out play over to the side of the jog and shuttle because that's where it is on this unit. Everything else is in the same place. Um, and I remapped everything to go to MIDI channel three. So you could have this one and a replay and TBR unit or <laughs> any combination of those two. And they're not going to interfere with each other. They're all going to play 
together happily. All the X keys. Okay. Now comes the part that uh, I wanted you to talk about, which is big news that showed up on the BMix Fun Time Live show this week. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, Spiny. He's so happy. So Spiny Norman was uh, just promoted. So he is definitely happy about this. He is, what is he, the vice president or secretary? He's a secretary, right? The secretary the of secretary. the new live streaming mascots alliance. That's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Looks like he's up there with Dan Sinclair, who I'm sure if you're VMix fans, you know who he is. And then Bindi, who is the bird dog. Who's adorable. I just love them all. I want to be friends with all of them. <laughs> they are obviously the founding members of the streaming mascots, the live streaming mascots alliance. Excellent. And uh, Dan Sinclair, of course, is the president. Uh, and Spiny told me, where's Spiny? Hi, Spiny. There he, there he is. is. He's just so cute. He's so proud to be named secretary of the streaming mascots <laughs> alliance. We'll see you later, Spiny. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a lot of, a lot of action going we on. we got questions? I think. Okay. Well, let's do our little close, and then um, and then we'll come back and answer those questions. So, yeah, stick around, guys. Yeah. We, we covered the basic information, and we'll close this out before the fun starts. Have a good weekend. See you in a bit. We are back. Let's see what's going on in here. Gonna... Um, you know, I just want to tell you something that one, um, another feature that's in the VMix 66 release is that uh, prior to this, this T bar control here on our, our video switcher would not fire triggers. So anytime all the triggers we have set up for I our inputs, if we that. wanted them to work, we had to use the keys. Right. Um, I mentioned that to Martin as we were working on the templates and he put that feature in for us and it's, awesome. it's great. Now I don't have to think about it. I know this, this, uh, transition for the T-bar is going to kind of fire those triggers and it all works. So. That is just awesome. Okay. Sorry. Well, uh, what all do we right. have? Well, let's see. Where did I leave off? I guess we got a lot of people watching. Um, I will put those up later. I think Martin had a question. Here we go. Steed's on. He's got a question. Steedy Cam. Yeah. It says, is there a way to use a button to select an audio input, say someone's mic, and then use the T-bar as an audio slider for that audio input? And then it looks like it gets cut off. Let me see yeah. if I can see the rest of it. Could you then replicate for another audio input? So I'm not sure if, if you're grasping all that, Dan. I'm assuming yeah, interesting. Um, boy. You ask a tough one. I know. Um, <laughs> um, I, I have not messed around with the audio settings much in vMix. Um, it sounds like an interesting idea. I'll just we'll have to test it. Um, I mean, vMix is pretty fantastic, so I'm going to say it's probably a possibility. Uh, which also reminds me of another feature that's in this new .66 version. Um, if again, if you're familiar with vMix and the audio mixer panel in it. Uh, Martin has now given you the ability to hide um, inputs that you don't care about. Mm -hmm. Kind of get them out of your way. That's nice. So that's Keep it nice and clean. Feature. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Well, thanks, Clint. Yeah. Thanks for watching, Clint. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Oh, I thought I saw another one. Daniel Wright was watching. Thanks for watching, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Uh, let's see, there's one more. Let's see. Edward comes in. First time commenter. First time commenter, long time watcher. Stalker, okay. <laughs> Will you show how to use X keys in any other way besides media? Seems you focus on media. That is true. We do a lot of focus on live streaming and editing and those kind of things. I th it's really because that's what we know. Um, networking or IT programming environment. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're open for suggestions. Yes. I and think if you want to contact us, I'd always be open for some suggestions. Right. Uh, if you have some case studies uh, in those and you'd like to come on and talk about them, we would love to have you on. Absolutely. We have had people on before, like the counting cars guys. Um, and mm -hmm. 
I'm drawing a blank. Somebody else. Someone else it's not. Well, Jason Jenkins wasn't really live stream, was he? Or is he? Yeah, well, kinda? it was recording. It was media. Recording. He was so recording media. with his one button studio. Yeah. So, yes, we would love to have uh, some other case studies, some more examples that aren't just streaming and, and media. So I know Miranda was working on maybe doing a Photoshop one, and I know um, yep. Martin actually just asked on here something about Camtasia. I know that was brought up the other week. It's probably still media. But it's still media. It's editing. In yeah. fact, um, Camtasia is what I use to make those two little videos. That's what I was going to say. You just asked that. So. For, yeah, for how to, how to install the template. Did I, Martin? Yes, I did, Martin. Uh, that's a it's a great program. Um, it's specially it was designed for tutorials, and it works so well for that. <laughs> Streamy is proud. <laughs> Streamy is very proud. Maybe someday Streamy can get in the alliance somehow. I don't know how, but maybe we can squeeze it in there. Yeah, like, uh, figure something. We'll to, out. Maybe an honorary member. I'll ask Spiny <laughs> at the next meeting of the alliance. I'll ask Spiny to nominate Streamy. Uh, we'll see. Oh, it's, Martin. The dues are pretty stiff, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you went down to Australia for? You had to take him with And then, yeah, and then. Uh, <laughs> there has some kind of initiation he had to go through. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't know. ask these questions. You don't want to know what happens down there in Australia. <laughs> they turn you into a hologram, and oh, it's just, <laughs> it's painful. Yeah, Martin says the clock's still broken. So he's on it. The second hand's working. I don't know what the problem is, Martin. All right, Deeker's watching. Hey, Deeker. Hello, Deeker. What's he say? I'm making yes. making them an industrial video of XCs. Maybe they'll choose a show on the show, even if it's German. Yes, we yes, will. Yes, we will. Please. In fact, if you would like to come on the show. That would be even cooler. We can like blur us. your face if you want to be really secretive. We, or shadow you, maybe. Yeah. We can figure yeah. something out. We could do some kind of witness protection. I know some of that top secret what he's working on. So the Brewsters can't. Hide know. your beer. All right. Let's see. Dave's joining us. Hi, Dave. He's saying hi well, to hello, all the Mr. buddies. Edwards. Looks like the whole group is in here. Oh, Dan says maybe I can always work on my German. Fire it up. All right. All right. <laughs> we do have our in-house tech. Uh, John actually claims that he can speak he a little German. He can speak so German, so. Maybe he'll have to come in here. I know him and Deeker actually uh, communicate frequently. Yeah, they're both train fans, I understand. Yep. Got a lot of friends in here. Rudy says, hi, Uncle D. <laughs> <laughs> Rudy wants to know if he needs to have a beard to come on the show. I mean, I don't think so. We don't discriminate. Maybe a mustache, Rudy. Yep. Martin saying hi. I got lots of friends in here. I love that everyone comes on here and knows each other. That's great. You know something we've never done on this show what? that I've seen other people do? And I don't know. We'll try it. Uh -oh. This is check-in time, okay? If you're in the chat, oh. post where you are watching from. Oh, fun. I've seen that. Tess does that. For yeah. PTZ. Let's see So it. let's see how that works. We've never done it before, but... Where is everybody? We're willing to try. <laughs> Where is everybody watching from? Uh, Rudy got an extra honor this year and that my nieces, they were in the Fowlerville Fair and they have a rooster named Rudy. Oh, gosh. Now, it's spelled R-O-O-D-Y, <laughs> but I do think it was named after him. And that rooster took third place. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. Well, we're getting some responses. Eastern Connecticut. Um, probably gonna pronounce this wrong. Gillette, Gillette, Wisconsin. Gillette, Wisconsin. Gillette, Wisconsin. Yep. Is it hot over there, Daniel? Oh, it's hot here. Yeah. So I know it's hot where Rudy is. World University. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you going on your trip soon too? I think he's in. He going South Africa or something soon? Uh, I think. We, maybe. I don't know if he wants everybody. Oh, there. sorry. Just kidding. You're not going anywhere. That's going a big anywhere. secret. Rudy's, he's not going anywhere. Rudy's. A he's in Ohio, agent. I think. Indiana, maybe. Here maybe the Milky Way. Los Angeles. Must be, at, what time is it? I think eight something? They've morning, got up Dave. early. Good morning. Frankfurt, Kentucky. Shave the beard for summer. I don't know how you guys do it. I have a lot of hair. I'm sure you guys have seen the, the fro. It's been tempting. <laughs> this braid is the only way to the tame 80s. it. It's been tempting to get rid of this. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> What's no, not? Real driver's in the front office. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We know exactly where that guy is. Thanks for watching. Yeah, see, he's not he's not scared. 15th of August. Best wishes, my friend. Okay. Daniel says it's only 70. That's not too Three. bad. And Switzerland. Switzerland, yes. That was fun. Good job, Dan. I think we should do that more Yeah, often. we might do that again. Did I put the UK up there? Martins? I don't know if I did. Steedy. Northamptonshire. Is Cross that the pond? Shire or Shire? Shire. Oh, I'm sure it's Shire. It's Shire. Shire. 
Martin sent me a cool uh, some some pictures and a cool video. Um, I got put this up on our user group of uh, a great portable setup that he's running now, where he's got a tent to keep his equipment in. Oh, and really? And, and it's all um, battery operated. It's all completely portable. I need to see what Martin's up to. Okay, Christian from Holland. Yeah, Facebook got some Facebook comments. Lens on here. Yep, hi, Are her Facebook comments not coming through? Um, you know, I was just going to ask you, but I thought maybe it was user error, but I don't see them on here. Grr. The one, we got the one from Real Driver. That's a Facebook comment. <laughs> green screen and a beard in the back. Pink turn green. I actually joked about that. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Great Ooh, idea, Dan. LA is hot. Yeah. I don't know why those aren't showing up. Yeah, that is... I thought that was maybe me. That's a weird anomaly. Um, But hi, Len and Christian. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, And so real quick, though, back to what we were talking about before. So when I go to trade shows a lot, I do get that asked that question, well, how can I have it just like that? So obviously the templates are going to be great for that. Yes. But bear with me. So when you load up a template, you obviously have free range to change anything. That's just set in your base, right? right exactly. So I want people to, to get that too. Once you do that, you're not stuck with that. I mean, this is a great layout and most people are perfectly fine with this. But that is one of the great things about our X keys is they're just like Legos. You could totally reconfigure, add keys, change any yep. of that. So I just want to throw that out there. That is definitely just a base for you. You can always stay that way or, or totally change it to your liking. So that's also a neat. Yeah, you can replace any yep. of these blockers with keys, add more keys. You can reconfigure this. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you don't want these blue keys here, if you want them up in the corner, it is just like Lego pieces. You pop them out and move them. Yeah, but it, that is great, though, a great tool. I get asked a lot from people who are installing things for people who aren't necessarily the most computer savvy that are going to be running stuff at, at, at small schools or small churches. And so I, that's just great. We have this template. Now they can just load it in. So very cool. What kind of transitions do we have on here? This is the merge. Mm. <laughs> and that one. Is cube zoom. I like That's cube a zoom. Fun one, but it makes me dizzy. Oh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> and, and this is a fade. I think in the configuration we have right now, fade and merge are pretty close. Merge is cool if you've got like multi view and you have one image like up in the corner, mm-hmm. and then the merge just kind of brings it out. Cool. So. Um, should we plug the Tom Sinclair? Do you play show? Oh, I mean, great. class. Yes. Just remembered that. Yes, we absolutely should. August 7th, I think. Starts August 7th. You sign up now. Um, you can go to Eastern Shore Broadcasting. I was say I should have uh, a link ready. We're no, streaming idiots. Um, oh, also, that other, this other um, template that I showed up, if you want that, uh, you need to join our Facebook user group. Uh, it's available as a, as a download in there, or you can email us here and we'll email it to you. <laughs> Guys are cracking me up. Oh, what do we do now? <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> Martin is living amongst the hobbits. <laughs> you know, hobbits are fantastic, and so yeah. is Martin, so that actually yeah. makes a little bit of I sense. Could easily believe that. <laughs> he's probably their Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said it's all battery powered now. Great, great, great. Cool. All right, here's another question. Oh, that's probably a beer related. Your ex does not make you a beer. How unfortunate. unfortunate. You know, I keep saying that. It's travesty i think we should have a kegerator in-house and the button could do something i don't know what maybe it'll just make a noise where it's time to drink i mean that's still doing something that right <laughs> ah speak of the devil hello the mr tom hello mr sinclair so if you want to drop any details in there i'll be glad to show it so um like i said he's doing a Vmix instant replay educational stream, right? He's gonna yes. TJ is gonna teach the class, I think. Or yes, something. TJ Thompson. All right, this is what I understand, and Tom, correct us if we give any disinformation here. But um, TJ Thompson is teaching this class. Um, TJ is phenomenal. He is the guy we turned to when we were designing the replay controller. He helped us design the layout that's on it. He tested a couple different configurations. Mm-hmm. Talked to some people at NAB last year. Actually made a few little tweaks to it after NAB, after getting some feedback. Yeah, that was great. And um, so, yeah, TJ is teaching that class. I also understand that um, we are, we're reserving a few of the replay units that we're building right now for Tom 
and this class. Mm -hmm. And if you enroll in that class, Tom is offering some kind of a discount. That's a hot commodity too. (laughs) Be prepared, Tom. (laughs) Learn from the best and get a discount on the gear if you want to follow exactly uh, what he's doing. So. It's just such a great combo. I'm so glad. I'm actually going to watch that, even though I I would never run a show probably in my life. Maybe. I don't know. I'm doing instant replay. I don't know if I ever would, but I would love to know. So I want to watch. So We might I, have to do instant in. replay on the stream here. Who knows? That's Something true. Something phenomenal we happens, and we want to back up and do it in slow-mo. That's very true. So I guess I shouldn't say I'll never, but <laughs> I'm very curious because I did watch TJ NAB, which, again, like you said, he was great. He was tested and getting feedback from people, but pretty neat i can see why people have wanted that combo for yeah, sure yeah uh and I, I just can't say enough good stuff about tj but one i will say one more good thing about him is that i have watched him work with everybody because he's in the booth with us last two years and he could work with everyone from a complete novice mm-hmm. who doesn't know replay and barely speaks english all the way up to a master Right. TD person who's had a lot of experience on it and he can adjust what he's telling them and you know feed them the right information answer questions yeah. I just can't say enough good stuff about the guy uh, Tom I don't think he could have picked anybody better to run that class good job Tom let's see Dave yep. says he has his XK12 jog and shuttle for replay it works great for simple replay I was thinking about that too I want people to know we do have a smaller version of our jog shuttle right you have a little bit of every flavor. So we have the 68 key, which is the one Dan showed. It was just modified with the replay set. And then we also have the XK12, which would come out of the box with 12 keys. So awesome. Thanks, Dave, for sharing that. All right. Yeah, what does Deeker say? Spiny. Spiny just got excited and popped in for a minute. Here we go. It brings a stein on a conveyor belt. Oh, <laughs> just stop it. Does. If that's yeah. real, I'm coming. Yeah, we definitely want to see the <laughs> We want to see the video of that. <laughs> How far is Amsterdam from where he is? Not far, bro. Not too far. Maybe we can hop a train over. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Thanks, speaker. Let's see. I think that's another thing we should probably plug. Um, Maggie and I will both be in the booth at IBC in Amsterdam yes. coming up in I think it's September. The 11th. I think it's, yeah, oh my gosh, I should know this. Um, I think it's September 11th again. There is a. a Post on our Facebook page right now yep, get your with free a free registration that goes through August 16th, I believe. 13th. So the show is September 13th through the 17th, but yep. the the code like the code saying, goes and the free through. free exhibit re- registration goes through August 16th. I'm yep. pretty sure. So I'm really excited about that. Um, gonna have a lot of our resellers that we haven't met face to face again. Hopefully, gonna see. You yeah, we're trying time. something new this yep. year. So definitely come see us. We're going to have interesting, <laughs> interesting what's, setups. What's our lineup? Um, so we're going to have GB, who is our German XQs reseller. And they also, I believe, have a, they ship to Austria too. And I forget, maybe even Switzerland. Um, but I've never met any of them face to face. And I've, it's been over a decade that I've been corresponding with them. They've been selling XQs for a long time, longer before my time. So at least probably 20 years. So they'll be there, I believe, on Friday. And they're going to just be there to answer questions and get a hands-on experience to see XTs in action. And then Saturday, we are going to have our buddy Ardeep, who is the owner of Keyboard Specialist, who is our official XTs UK distributor. Great guy. So he'll be there. I believe Sunday is still open. I'm trying to get one of our Swiss resellers to be there. I'm still working on that. And then... Um, we have Dietiker come in and tell everybody about how he uses X keys to brew beer. I mean, that that show, <laughs> alcohol is prevalent in Amsterdam. Is, so is. honestly, that would fit right in and that would get a lot of you attention. You won't want to give out his secrets. <laughs> and then uh, last but not least, Boris from Into Comp is going to be there. So that would be exciting. All right. Yeah. So I'll have more details the closer to, but for right now, that's what we got going on. And it sounds like we're going to see our buddies Martin and Rudy there, yes. too. Yes, I, th- I hope so. I'm really looking forward to I really to. hope so. Be prepared. Yeah, it sounds... <laughs> you will never annoy Some annoying Rudy. customers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got rail driver all excited, Deeker. All excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Geez. We want to know about that, too. <laughs> John, you're not the only one that oh, wants to know about that funny. device. Yeah, that was great. Walter Steller. Oh, man. Yes, I hope we get to see all you guys and anyone else who's coming. I love those shows. Anybody yeah. else watching right now that we're going to yeah. see at IBC that we didn't mention? Yeah, that would be 
Mr. Sinclair, I've oh, heard yeah. a rumor. Ooh. I've heard a rumor that he's going to be there in the VMAX. Tom's booth. going overseas, huh? That's exciting. If he can get a passport, I don't know if they let you out of Alabama. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> I think I think that's about it. Had a lot of action today. Thanks for all the comments, guys. Yes. All we do like so engagement. Fun. Oh, a bunch of people are talking about California. Apparently, there's what varsity jackets and things going on in this conversation that I'm missing. Daniel I don't has know. a question. Where is it? Right here. Is the output module available yet? More the park out- high football jacket. Okay. The you can get a more. Po- you can get a football jacket. Output module. What do you think you mean by that? Yeah. Sorry, Daniel. Um, you're you're losing me there. Output module. Your um, GPIO. I was gonna say GPIO HD15. Yeah, are you, if you're asking about the GPIO, then yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's there. It's up on the site. Yep. You can get one today. I was gonna say I think the only thing in the works is really the replay that we don't have on the shelf. Replay flippy feet. Flippy feet, which are common. I've seen a couple of those too. We've uh, we've ran into a few inventory shipment issues. Yeah. Lovely customs. So we've had yeah. a couple backlogs. Got some, hey, Dave, we got some stuff sitting in customs in LA. Would you mind running down there and GPIO. kicking some people? Oh, yep. Yeah, that's the one he was talking about was GPIO. Yes, it is available. Yep. It should be on the website. I'm not very quick right now, but I'll put a link up there. Get that to you. Maybe yep, yep. after the fact or something. So, yeah, Mr. Edwards, if you wouldn't mind running down to the um, <clears throat> customs pen at uh, LA. And uh, just asking the guy to please clear our shipment so we can start building stuff again. <laughs> Seriously. I heard one of them's already in Detroit, though. So oh. hopefully that means it'll be here soon. Here she is. All right, I'll drop this in the comments for you. Here's a little GPIO okay. for you. If they'll let you put a link in there, you might have to Ooh, put it. Ooh, might not. Maybe I'll have to put it on Facebook. Well, all right. Well, it's showing up for us. Beautiful. Well, if you can't see it, I uh, will put it on Facebook too. But if you just search, go to our xkeys.com, and I just use the quick search bar and just type in GPIO, it popped right up. Fastest way to get there. Um, Deeker's considering. What do you say? I do not speak English well. Well, you we don't have to speak English well to drink beer. So, <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> what date was it? So the show is September 13th through the 17th. It is a long show. Um, very long. Saturday and Sunday are definitely the busiest, I think, show busiest days as far as traffic yeah, it's a, goes. Yeah, weekend is busiest, right? Yeah, weekend's for sure busy. But that would be great to come see you. And honestly, your mind would probably be blown. It's a huge show. There are so many things to look at and, and to test. Yeah, talk about media overload. It's just uh, everything it's cameras and recording gear and microphones and lighting gear and. <laughs> Got it. Great. Good. All right. Dave says, sure. He's getting right on it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I feel better now. Ooh, here's the real, th- here's the real truth. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Bring her along. There you go. We're They're free passes. Happy. I mean, I don't know. That's right. Get your free pass before yeah. the 16th. Yeah. Oh, Clint says he has dreams of IBC. <sighs> Perhaps someday. It is not a cheap city. It's no. it's not cheap to get there, and it's not cheap to function around it. But it is really neat. My first year was last year, and it was really cool. It's Clint. I think there are a lot of people over there that dream of coming to NAB. I got that. That was just you took the words right out of my mouth. So I got that a lot last year. You will, yeah. You can't maybe you can't do IBC, but if you can do NAB, mm-hmm. it's, can you come see us? It's, yeah, and it's similar, and it will it will also blow your mind. Well, let's see. I think Rudy's Rudy's making a friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm hot in here. Oh, uh, it's yeah, it's <laughs> getting Studio hot in this room. So maybe so it's think, time for us to go. I think it's time. But thanks, everybody. There's That's Spiny fun. one more time with the title. I'm fine. He works hard. He drives that rocket sled, bringing the titles out. And then he pops up to to wave. And then he's got all of his secretarial duties at the uh, live stream mascots alliance to take care of. <laughs> hey, well, his mascots get going. I can't imagine how he can keep yeah. notes from that. He must record it and transcribe it later. I don't know. I, don't know. I know. I'm Rand and I took Dan around last year at NAB. He's a busy, popular guy, so it's fine. He's got his work cut out for him. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for yeah. all the comments, questions. Um, you know where to find us, xkeys.com. Uh, if you have anything that we missed, any yep. questions you have. Sales at piengineering.com. Definitely give us a call Monday through Friday. We're here. Great. 
Bye, everybody. Have a good weekend. Friday. Bye.